Some of you may know that I follow a high fat version of the carnivore diet. Why do I do this? Um, so eating high fat carnivore, which is high in fat, obviously, uh, with moderate levels of protein and zero carbohydrates is the optimal way of eating for humans. If you want to experience optimal health, uh, optimal physical functioning, mental functioning, um, and body composition. Uh, a lot of people wonder and ask me, well, how much fat should I be eating? How much protein should I be eating? Uh, in general, you want to eat, um, I mean, I don't measure my food, but I, I eat intuitively. I know more or less how much fat and how much protein I need. And I base that on what my body craves. Um, so sometimes if I have too much fat, uh, I'll, I'll crave a little bit more protein or vice versa. If I have too much protein, I'll crave more fat. Um, so in the end, how I eat balances itself out um, and falls along the lines of, um, in terms of calories, caloric intake, 80% of my calories come from fat, more or less, and 20% from protein. <clears throat> so what does that look like when you're, when you're preparing a meal? So if, you're, if you have some meat uh, and some fat, so how you can do is for every 100 grams of lean meat, that you're preparing, again, raw, you'll want to add 35 grams of, uh, of raw fat to that. Again, you don't have to eat it raw. You can cook uh, the meat and the fat, but um, that's a good way of, of kind of getting used to eating a high-fat um, diet. And then, like I said, once your body's used to it, you'll kind of you'll be able to eyeball um, the amount of protein, the amount of fat that you're eating, the different types of foods you're eating to gauge how much of each macronutrient you're going to need. Um, typically, if I'm eating a ribeye steak, which ribeyes are considered um, the fattiest cuts of steak, I also add additional fat pieces to that, usually fat trimmings, which I will fry and, and get them crispy. So I'll eat a handful, a nice big handful size of fat trimmings and eat that together with the ribeye steak. Um, I also eat, I don't eat steaks too often. What I mostly eat are slow cooked uh, fatty cuts of beef. So things like short ribs, chuck roast, brisket, um, regular ribs. And again, so short ribs um, oftentimes have enough fat in them if they're fatty, if they don't, um, the butchers don't trim the fat off. So short ribs will have enough fat for me to where I don't need to add additional fat, which is perfect. Uh, same thing with brisket. Uh, so briskets I get are usually really fatty, big, thick layers of fat. Um, in between the, the, the layers of the meat. And so again, I don't have to add additional fat to that. Usually chuck roast, yeah, I'm gonna need to add um, additional fat trimmings to that. Uh, again, uh, I'll have a plate or a bowl of, of meat. Uh, usually about, I usually eat about 10 to 12 ounces of food per meal. So I'll have you know a decent sized portion of, of meat with a big handful of um, fat trimmings. Uh, together with it. And that's that's usually good. But again, with the brisket and with the short ribs, I don't need to add additional fat to it. Um, it has enough fat. So so once you get used to, to, to eating um, high amounts of fat, um, you don't have to measure. Uh, it's just when you're getting started, you might want to do that so that you know and you know so that you're sure that you're getting um, the, the macronutrients in their, in their correct ratios. Um, so I hope you found this uh, video helpful and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Um, if you think somebody can benefit from this video, feel free to share it to them. And if you'd like to be, um, reminded and notified about upcoming videos on, uh, nutrition, health, um, athletic functioning, body composition, uh, hit the subscribe button and we will see you next time.